kitchen. Welcome to Gluten Free and Me. So I saw a recipe on the Food Network for snickerdoodle cookie cupcakes. And we have some celebrating to do around here because our daughter got a big promotion. So we're doing it gluten-free and Jen's way. Here's what we're using. Brown sugar. Butter and eggs and vanilla. If any of you have noticed, when you use a gluten-free, all-purpose flour, one-to-one, -one, it has a little bit of a tendency, if you're following gluten recipes, to be a little drier. And so today, I, I just don't wanna use the one-to-one -one or all-purpose. I'm gonna go back to the way I used to use it before those things were created. And we make great cookies and baked goods. So we're just gonna make our own all-purpose flour. And in here, I have so two parts protein, which would be my white flour and my brown flour, one cup of each is what I've done, and one cup of tapioca. Now for the xanthan gum for, to create the gum and elasticity, I have, I've upped this a little bit than normal, but I have two teaspoons of xanthan gum. I have one teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of baking soda, one and a quarter teaspoon of um, cinnamon, oh, snickerdoodle without cinnamon. I know, when you're making these cookie recipes, it's not for the faint of heart when you see how much butter goes into them, but let's not think about that right now, all right? And just make the dessert, all right? Two sticks of butter. I always tweak the sugar because I can't ever leave recipes well enough alone, so I got half a cup of granulated sugar and a quarter cup of really packed in there brown sugar, and we'll mix that up. To our flour. Notice I'm doing it on low just to incorporate it. Nice, nice and slow. This is what our dough looks like. Nice and combined, fabulously soft, smells like heaven. This recipe makes about 10 cookies. So why don't we just see if we can divide it up into 10 equal balls and then we can put them in our cinnamon and sugar mixture. Yes, I can get a scale. No, I don't want to. Okay, you can get a scale in your kitchen. I'm gonna go by eye and years of experience. <laughs> Eight. Ah. Nine. Ten. I'm going to steal a few, a little bit from here and there. And what do you think? Ten. Gosh, you guys, if you could smell this. Well, you will smell it when you do it at your house. That's right. So on my parchment lined pans, we're gonna first put our ball in the cinnamon sugar mixture. I have two and a half teaspoons of cinnamon and three tablespoons of sugar. You can mix the whole ball in there or you can put the top. We like cinnamon. So, and there's a snickerdoodle cookie, so. You're gonna be so happy and surprised. And I've got the oven preheating at 375. I'm gonna bake them for about 13 to 15 minutes. I have a little thing of water in case I needed that, but the dough is beautiful and not sticky, and it's not dry, wink, wink. So I suggest you play around and make your own all-purpose flour mixtures. Just saying. In it goes. Let's get cracking on the cream cheese frosting. In here is two and a half cups of confection sugar. 
and I'm gonna put in a half a teaspoon of vanilla, five tablespoons of butter, and then we'll do five tablespoons of cream cheese and everything's at room temperature, okay? Look at these beauties, they are amazing. 13 minutes in my 375 oven, my cream cheese frosting, let's get to it. Snickerdoodle cookie cupcakes are beautiful.